I'm running Clear Linux project here, actually Clear Linux OS from the Clear Linux project, which is a project within Intel. And what should I say? I've been running this distribution now for less than two days, but it's already become my default desktop go-to distribution because the whole system boots in under four seconds. Essentially, how long it takes to boot the grub bootloader before is now how long it takes to boot into a fully, fu fully functioning working XFCE desktop and that's just awesome. So one thing that is missing in Clear Linux though is the wide availability of many end-user applications and if you know me you know that I like to use app images for those. As a matter of fact if I type in app image here you will see that I have quite some app images already on my system. And to do that in Clear Linux OS we first have to enable Fuse. Fuse is a system that allows one to essentially mount things as a pure user without having to use root writes. And since app images are essentially compressed application images like disk images, we need to enable Fuse to make that happen. Uh, basically what we have to do is open a terminal and then as root edit a file called etsy modules load d fuse.conf. If that file is not there already then you have to create it and well I've now uh, just shown my super secret password which happens to be user <laughs> we will see that inside this file there is just the word fuse inside here. Also once you have done this you can install the optional app image d daemon. Let's download it right from github. Just go to github. The project is called app image d and here under releases you will find the app image d app image. It comes as an app image itself so we're eating our own dog food. After downloading and running this from the command line it will tell you how you can install it into the system. I'm not showing this here because I've already done it. But uh, once you have done this and installed AppImageD on your clear Linux OS system, what it does is it's integrating automatically app images that you download from the net so that if you look into your menu you will see app images with icons and menu uh, entries just like any other application. Um, what this also does is if you go to your home directory and let's say you have a download folder, in here you get all those nice icons for app images automatically and an app image really is just one single file that contains a whole application and everything the application needs to run. As a matter of fact, I'm recording this screencast using a tool called VocoScreen and I'm using the app image. It is a 37.7 uh, megabytes file and uh, it has to be set executable as an application and that's basically it. I can now run the application and record a screencast without needing any screencasting tool to be built into Clear Linux OS. And what's also great about app, app images is that if you don't want to use an app anymore, you can just delete it by right-clicking and throwing it into the trash. That's all. And now the application is gone, even from the menu. If we check the Welle I.O. application that was here a minute ago, is gone. Uh, I could also restore it by going to the trash. Let's see, where is the application? Here it is. Let's put it back to downloads. Now Valley IO is here again and if I type it in, sure enough, Valley IO is again integrated into the system. So as you can see App Image D is really nicely fluidly integrating and unintegrating those app images simply based on drag and drop. You don't need a package manager, you don't need to go to any software center, you don't have to fiddle around with repositories and all of those things. Now you may ask yourself how do I update app images? Well that's easy too. 
there is a tool called App Image Update, and I happen to have it on my system. If I open this tool, I can just point it to any app image that I would like to update. For example, let's pick Firefox. I click open, and now it's updating the Firefox app image. What it does here is it checks the existing app image and reuses as much as possible from that app image to do the update. As you could see, this was a very fast process because it does a binary delta update of the app image. Like Clear Linux itself, it only downloads the few kilobytes that have actually changed from build to build. It doesn't re-download the whole thing. So, in my opinion, App Image and Clear Linux OS really are complementary and they fit together very, very well. So I really encourage you to try it out for yourself.